Yo, welcome to my crib. What's up everybody, Matt Philly here for Swashin' TV and today I am doing a room tour. Although my room is extremely small, uh, it just, it's time to do it. It's been well overdue. So, so here we go, we're gonna go into my setup. Uh, also, thank you for 15,000 subscribers. I'm also wearing Linus' shirt because he was a big reason why I was able to jump 2,000 subs in the matter of a day. Insane, love it, crazy. Um, but with that said, let's hop into it. A lot of things I want to let you guys know about. Uh, those that get mad about Max and things like that, don't worry. If you listen to the end, I'll tell you uh, something special. So taking a look here, as you can see, I have a three monitor setup, aka a trip mon setup. That's what I call it. Uh, and all the all the cool pimps, you know, setup pimps. That is, uh, that we call it the trip mon setup, and it looks absolutely insane, mon. <laughs> get it? It's okay. <clears throat> so uh, taking a look here. They are three AOC i2757FM monitors. They are 1080p, nothing too crazy. Um, but for me, I love it. The price is absolutely amazing. You get these on sale pretty, pretty damn cheap. So because of that, I picked three of them up. Now, they're sitting on a stand up. Oh, I forgot to put that away. Well, don't mind that. I had a problem with my microphone, I had to splice it. So I just have wires sitting here. And this is actually how I use my setup on the daily. So keep that in mind. Um, but as you can see right here, this is a standard triple monitor mount. All the product links that I mentioned will be down below in the description on Amazon. If you purchase it through my link, you're going to give me a small kickback without changing anything. And my cameraman's going back there. So I guess I'm talking about, oh yeah, I guess, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's good because you're showing this off. Um, this is how I wire manage everything. There is an extra uh, LED strip going along the back of this. So that's pretty hype. I got a USB hub uh, back here. It's pretty good. This doesn't look the best, but you don't notice it at all. Obviously, this is behind the monitor. I just wish that this specific one had a bigger hole. I mean, if I want to get real crafty, I could have chopped it up a little more, but I shouldn't have to do that. It should just be nice nonetheless. And I don't usually keep it at red LEDs. Um, the only reason why I did that is so you can really see them. With a blue wall, you don't really see LEDs as well. Um, I usually keep it on white. It's a very nice, cool color mixed in with my walls. So I like that, but for the video sake, I just showed it in red. Now, as you can see, ooh, these monitors are not VESA compatible. So if you wanna be able to mount these, if you're interested in getting them, I actually have a video, which I'll also link down below, uh, my VESA hack for $5, not bad at all. Now, taking a look over at the peripherals over here, this right here is the DOS Keyboard Model S for Mac. I love it. Pretty damn cool. Um, I just got this for Christmas, transitioned into mechanical keyboards, really enjoying it. This right here is the Logitech MX Revolution. It is a beast, and I call it Karma. Um, okay, that was a bad joke. Um, the unofficial YouTuber mouse, that's what a lot of people call it, and uh, I would agree, I guess, or I would just call it the unofficial best mouse ever for any daily user. Uh, now this right here is a cushion, a gel pad, whatever you want to call it. It's nothing crazy. Uh, I got it for like a dollar and it's it's been nice because you know, you're if you're kind of like a computer guy like me, you're gonna get, um, what do they call it, carpal tunnel? It's gonna happen. I mean, I know I'm already doomed with all the health problems, so I could care less. Now this right here is the 12 South high rise iPhone stand which it's not even actually done properly. I took it out the other day and I uh, didn't put it back properly. So this piece should actually be inside of that. So I have to fix that, but this thing is pretty awesome. I like it, it's a nice sleek look. So no complaints from me. And that's my iPhone 6 with the speaking gold back, pretty cool. And a lot of people are gonna ask what this index card is. This is just stuff I read for a pin my setup before the show or actually during the show. Now over here, oh, and a lot of people ask me, Matt, how do you have a Mac mini powering three displays? Well, uh, I'll make a video about it. It's nothing crazy, there's no crazy secret. But right now, this is actually connected to my MacBook Pro, which we'll get to in a second, uh, only because <clears throat> when I do pin my setup, I actually will use two displays and have the other one to my MacBook Pro because I like to split uh, what I'm doing. You know, all my computer usage is gonna be on the MacBook Pro during pin my setup. And this is just gonna be for Wirecast and Skype. That way I kind of keep it at a minimum. Um, but anyways, 
These are the Brainwaves HM9. They are my favorite daily driver as far as headphones currently. Um, I have a lot of headphones, a lot that aren't even displayed. Grotto uh, SR60E, the Bose AE2, the Moto XS, Brainwaves HM5, another pair of HM9. Uh, I like headphones, <laughs> I like music, I like stuff like that. Just kind of one of the things I'm into. Over here we got the Yamaha NW10C. This is a, uh, I was about to say it's a Yamaha. Yeah, no shit, Matt. It is a Yamaha, that's why I said that. This is a USB mixer. I diggity dig it. And by the way, this is, this HMI cord is not usually here, only here during a show. Um, but I wanted to show you what it's like, you know, because I'm usually powering three displays, so I don't need the HDMI, but I'm showing you what it's actually like. Um, on a daily use with, you know, put my setup, stuff like that. So by the way about this, this thing is getting old. It's about seven years now that I've had it, but I've had no issues at all. So I don't see why I should change, but I should, I should just update. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Uh, this is a newer new year. I don't know how you pronounce it. A $20 mic stand I got off of Amazon, uh, mixed up with my, oh, there's a dog hair, uh, <laughs> sure. SM58. My favorite mic for the price. I mean, there are Audio Technicas, uh, whatever, blue product, blue, whatever you want to get. Uh, but for me, this is what I got. It just worked out for me. I have two of them. If you want to do the custom mic flag with your logo, stuff like that, the windscreen, I have a video on that, but that is that. And um, yeah, so now over here, this is the MacBook Pro 15 inch Retina, spec'd out to the top. Hot diggity dog. It is the bomb. I love it. And right here is a code keyboard. I will be doing a video about this shortly, so stay tuned for that. And this is also something I'll be doing a video on soon. The Logitech uh, Ultimate Ears Boom. Terrible color scheme. I, I don't know. It looks like vomit smeared across the speaker. Whatever. And I'm happy because if you guys saw when I went to the Luxury Technology Show, I actually talked about Fugu, which is a cool speaker just like this. They're going to give me one for review, so I'm excited to dive deeper into that. Now, um... I guess I should make mention, a lot of people are going to ask what kind of desk this actually is. This is an Ikea Lin, Linman, Linman, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not Swedish in any way, shape, or form. So go ahead and rip me apart in the comments for saying it wrong, because I know you will. Um, but this is one piece. This is another piece. Through the magic of hardware, you can bolt them together. Bam. <laughs> there you go. My old desk, a lot of people liked. I liked it too. It was just too small. It was the Ultra Chadwick Nightingale Black from Staples. Well, these drawers right here and also these drawers right here are also uh, from that desk. I just popped them, popped the top off, slid those under. It worked out perfectly. Not a problem at all. Now, this is the uh, Maxnomic Commander S3. I actually did a, rev uh, blah, 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 a review of it. It's from Need for Seat. This thing is amazing. I love it, and it's still holding up really, really nicely. I've had it for about a month now. Uh, I should also mention these are Swash and TV coasters. I've been giving them away like crazy. Like this one I signed, and I wrote funny stuff on it, and I gave it away to someone. Uh, i got to ship that tomorrow. Oh, and my Logitech C920, that's what I use for the show. Um, someone said, why don't you have a 1080p webcam? I said, listen, bro, I have top of the line webcam. This is the webcam to get, no matter who you are, what you do, it's worth the money and it's always on sale and you can price match at most stores. Just saying. Uh, so let's see. I think that's, uh, okay. I got Grand Theft Auto five. Uh, one of my, well, actually Grand Theft Auto is my favorite series of games, hands down. Um, I don't know if I like the poster there. I kind of get bored of posters pretty quick. Minecraft poster, this thing I want to get rid of so bad. I like Minecraft because they have like the Disney World, but I want to, I don't know, I, I'm not too addicted. Fantasia, if you guys know me, you know I love Disney. You'll see more of Disney in a second. One of my favorite posters. I just love it. It's so cool. I, I don't know what it is. I just like it. Fantasia is a good movie. It's, uh, it's just cool. Uh, all right, so this is the Steve Jobs poster. I don't think it's available anymore. Uh, if it is, I will post a link to it, but... Last time I checked, it wasn't available. This thing is amazing. Let me read it for you. No, I'm not gonna actually. I'm not actually gonna read the whole thing. Here's to the crazy one. Okay, I'm just kidding. Yes, yeah, I fooled you. Okay, now this and all right. I only have this light out when I'm doing pin my setup, so don't mind it. It's not usually obstructing anything. So, anyways, this is the We the Kings poster. I backed their Indiegogo campaign for somewhere somehow, and that's why I have a signed poster, which is absolutely amazing. And then I went to Warp Tour and I met all of them. Uh, well. By all of them, I mean all of them. Uh, it was it was awesome, so cool. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically this corner of the room. Now over here, this is probably, oh, you know what, damn it, okay. Before we go over there, look down here. This is a insanely awesome footrest. I'll actually demonstrate, ooh la la. So it, it rocks back and forth, it has 
massage beads, it's it's insane. I love it. And if you tilt the camera up, you'll see the IKEA Signum. No, like tilt the camera. Yeah, good job. Cameron's learning things. Um, the IKEA Signum, ten dollars, best thing to purchase. Uh, the first step, something you should definitely consider getting right off the bat if you're gonna have a setup. And there's my Mac Mini over there, and it's custom little holder that I made for because I came up with that. <laughs> and then. Um, yeah, the only cords you're going to see is the power strip because there's a power strip mounted underneath the desk. Uh, so you're going to see that cord that's powering everything. And then we have the cord to the light, which is usually not there. So bada bing, bada boom. There you go. What are you going to do about it, right? So, okay. Now taking a look over here. Uh, if you've been watching me for a while, you watch Pinmat set up things like that, you're going to know that I have the Abudu Revolution and you're like, where did that go, Matt? Well, don't worry. It is in my garage. That was the intended... Uh, location for it all the time the only problem was it was freezing it was cold as bowls in my garage so i kept it up here for now uh it just obviously <laughs> this is a small room it's not gonna work so now that it's nicer out put it down in the garage i will be doing tons of videos on it because now i could actually like walk around and stuff it's crazy uh so when i got rid of that i was like wow i have a lot of room for activities and um instead i got this bed which technically i guess there's still room for activities <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> but <laughs> Cameron's just like what are you talking about um but I, I decided to get this king size bed the two most important things when it comes to someone's room is having an insane setup and having the best possible sleep uh, I, I probably worded that terribly but I can sleep amazing and I have a sick setup literally half my room's a bed half my room's a setup does it get any better than that well I could have a bigger room and I could, okay. But yeah, with what I have, this worked out perfect. Uh, I just got it. So I don't even know why the, the I have like literally a hundred pillows, which is amazing. And I don't even know how to sort them. So I just kind of throw them there. So I will figure that out eventually. But hey man, I sleep like a princess and I love it. Uh, now we're going to take a look over here. So since I recently just moved the bed in and I just got rid of the Ab Abodu, uh, I have my HDMI cord that was connected all the way around the room to, uh, it was connected to my Xbox. Now it's just laying here. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Uh, but up here, I, I guess I'll quickly do what's up here. A lot of boxes. There you go. <laughs> um, there are, there's a lot of things that I need to get rid of. I need to clean this up. Uh, we also have Elmo. Everybody loves Elmo. Uh, I think Elmo is like one of the coolest dudes ever. Only because I could do his voice. Uh, and then I know a lot of the, the fanboys, uh, PC Master Race people are going to get pissed off. But this is pretty damn cool. These are all like limited edition pins for like different games like Titanfall and Rise. Games no one cares about like Forza. Well, I take that back. Sorry, uh, sorry Barnacles. We got Dead Rising. These are all like the initial launches and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I like that. And I was also invited to the Xbox Loft 1 um, when they came out with Connect Sports Rival. So because of that, I got a lot of cool things. Like, I still have a month of Xbox Live. Do you need Xbox Live, Cam? Uh, well, if you do, now I, I got a whole month for free. Like, what else do I got in here? I got another pin. Um, let's see. Three months of Xbox Live. Here's my thing, my pass. I took the thing off the lanyard, but... Oh, and look at this. I also have... Last thing I'll show you. Xbox One Mints. It's pretty funny. So, that's a thing. Uh, I will put this back up there, though, because no one cares anymore. Uh, behind that, I have my Xbox One Day One Edition box. I have... I mean, that I just got for review. I have my MacBook Pro box over there. I got tons of boxes of things that... Most of these I don't really need to be keeping up here, but I will clean that off eventually. Um, this is a closet. This is Tenarnia, so I can't really open that up. Um, this is just, you know, clothes, stuff like that. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is over here. Now, this is kind of uh, a controversial area because, well, actually, my whole setup is. A lot of people really give me schnickels for my setup, but I love it. At the end of the day, this is the bed that I'm sleeping on, not you, so get over it. Uh, so, we'll start with this. This is the pop vinyl figure shelf all Disney, except for one thing. Um, God, I love Disney. <laughs> I seriously love Disney so much. So, going through, we got Frozen, Beauty and the Beast, Mickey Mouse, oh boy! We got Lion King, we got Ariel, and then we got Batman, which is kind of weird. Uh, and then we got Rock Raccoon, Snow White, and the Seven Dwarfs. Well, that's just one of them that's uh, Grumpy or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, we got 
uh, Sully from Monsu Zinc, we have Nemo, we have Captain Jack Sparrow, and we got Lilo and Stitch, and, uh, Lord, oh, yeah, oh, that didn't even sound like him, damn it, I was like, I was two for two, and now I'm two for three, uh, and then down here, of course, um, we got Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, they are amazing, more than just being awesome, they are actually hiding the cables, Boing, you didn't know that, so more you know. And he's holding my remotes, which is pretty cool. Thinking outside the box. Uh, oh boy! Okay, I'm done with the imitations for today. Um, but yeah, I just started getting these pop vinyls for Christmas, so you can imagine that's a lot. Uh, I will find... I don't have room, so I will try to figure that out. Uh, I also have this candle, which a lot of people ask me what scent it is. Leather. Seriously, blows my mind. When I actually smelt it, I was like, damn. That's good. So if you ever, you know, near a store with candles, you look look for the leather. It's amazing. Um, <clears throat> just normal Bose speakers, nothing crazy. Here's my pass for Luxury Technology Show, which was fun. Uh, down here we got a JVC receiver, a lot of books, things I'll never actually touch. Xbox 360, Xbox One, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then I guess I will mention, um, what was I going to mention? Oh, this TV. It's garbage. I've had it for a long time. Actually, it's not garbage. It's been amazing. For an off-brand TV, I've never had an issue. It's an Element brand. What is it? I don't know. Probably a Samsung. Who cares? Uh, bezels thicker than... Uh, insert joke there. I'm not really thinking of anything funny today. Super bulky. It works, but I want <clears throat> to actually replace this with the 50-inch. I just don't watch TV. So maybe for gaming and stuff like that, I will... Amp All right, so it cut off because the camera doesn't like me, but uh, maybe I will amp it up to a 50 inch in the near future. And over here is your boy, Matt, up in the Magic Kingdom after, this is at like 2 a.m. after I got off Splash Mountain, soaking wet in November. You can imagine it was cold. Uh, but yeah, so, hmm. Oh, over here, uh, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Uh, my man, Walt Disney, spitting the truth, because that's what he does. Uh, and then we got a shelf... Uh, the Eye Shrine, a lot of people call it, a lot of people call me an Apple fanboy, but uh, I'm not a fanboy, honestly. I can find cons in Macs and Apple products, I can find uh, reasons to switch to Windows, and at the end of the day, I'm going to be building a PC, so get excited for that. I'll get to that in a second, but I also have the Office sign, love that show, best thing ever. Uh, I got just tons of cool stuff up there, like the first iP uh, iPad box, I got that when I was young, it was, it was a big deal for me. Uh, the Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, that's not my new one though, that's my brother's box, I got the iPhone 4, iPhone 5, uh, two iPhone 5 boxes, I have trackpad, keyboard, my iPhone 4 shattered, things like that, it's really, I just like it, I've had it for a long time in this room, so, if you don't like it, you can chuck it sideways, uh, what else, oh, yeah, this thing, this is actually Cameron's PC, old PC, now he's moved on to bigger and better, custom built, um, this is from iBuyPower i3, aka pfft, sucks. Uh, did you put this on yourself? I did. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but now it's running the R9 R926C, no, R7 26 I don't know anything. Uh, no, seriously though, I, I'm kidding. I am going to get into PC uh, Master Race soon. I'm going to build, I think my first PC build is going to be a streaming PC. Just for pin my setup, Twitch, stuff like that. So get excited. I will be doing it. I'm a noob when it comes to hardware, as a lot of you guys know. And uh, it's going to be crazy. I'm going to have you guys help me out with some stuff. And we're going we're gonna to go ham. And you'll see, soon enough, it won't just be a Mac-powered setup. It's going to be crazy. Like, my streaming PC will be shitting out gold. Not that, That's probably not possible yet. I'll work on it, though. I'll be the first one to do it. But, yeah, I think that's really it. I mean, is, is there anything I missed, Ken? I don't think so. Oh, this, this last thing. I'm getting this replaced because this is from Cameron when he had this room. It, I hate it. Do you? No. You, yeah, it's got that in New York. yeah, we got it in New York City for him at the Nintendo store. And this son of a bitch didn't even like it. He's like, I guess I'll just put it up on the door. There's another poster behind it. Is there? Yeah. What poster? No, not anymore. Oh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, well, I got a Shaytards uh, Year 6 poster signed, so that's going there. So Charles Trippy, Shay Carl, I like it. It's going to work good. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That is all I got for you guys today. Now, before we do Skadoodle, 
Okay. Uh, before we skadoodle, damn it. Okay. Before we leave, uh, yeah, right. If you got this far into the video, right? Blank flamingo. I don't know. Tom was saying it earlier as a funny joke. Uh -huh. There you go, Tom. I said it. Uh, <laughs> and that's gonna do it. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Cameron, for being a cameraman. <laughs> thanks, Cam, for being the cam man. Should I stop talking? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the Flipperty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>